beautiful people welcome back garnishment attachment and liens everything that's going to be spoken of in this video is under the presumption that some of us if not all of us have at some point been introduced to the concept of this thing called maritime lien or this thing called commercial lien and that well put a lien on them put a lien on the judges put a lien on one man or on one woman there are three main issues the first one being that you can't and you do not necessarily put a lien on an actual person you can put a lien on a business and most of those people are functioning and doing business under capacity of an acting judge police officer chief judge mayor director secretary so if you're gonna put a lien on someone you put a lien on their capacity, their successors and their signs, which is a jewel whereby whenever you put a lien on someone under formal public official capacity, always add their successors and a sign because their term can end. And once their term end, they go back into the private or go back into another sector to do business in. That is if you intend to go after them under their supposed official capacity. What if all the processes you're doing does not end or does not trigger until around the time where their term ends? So that renders all your effort useless. You don't want that. That is where that term successors and assigns come in, meaning whoever takes that same position, regardless of the face, regardless of the name, they hold the same liability. Because the general presumption is that they follow specific guidelines based on the natural cycles, patterns, and regularly conduct the business activities that that man or woman is holding as capacity of a president, police, judge. Whereby that same thing that was done to you that caused you to initiate that lien will be repeated by that successor or the assignee. Like you would assign a contract to someone else. Just that. But the thing is, when they invoke sovereign immunity, that is rendered useless. The whole purpose of sovereign immunity is to say that you cannot hold me liable in my official capacity. But the weakness of sovereign immunity is if they're acting in an unconstitutional manner, then you don't have sovereign immunity. And that automatically triggers their private liability also. Because the only thing that can afford them sovereign immunity is if they're functioning within the confines and guidelines of that capacity. Or position of theirs that is to say that if you're going to hold someone liable by putting a lien on their position or against their interests you should do it both privately and publicly publicly you put it on the title and they're doing business capacity but privately it's not the actual man that you put a lien against because remember a lien is a commercial tool and a dead man tells no tale because commerce is meant for dead entities. The only thing that brings us life is your performance. So how then do you hold people privately liable? Their interest. That's the first problem with it. The capacity on how it's done. The second problem is how is it enforced? We're going to show one of about seven different ways a lien can be enforced against someone, whether it's done privately or publicly. That is the entire 59 minute video is on the Patreon page. Take care and best of luck.